All right, everybody. So we have some Star Wars news hot off the presses. Not exactly this article, but the one we're going to get to. So this is interesting. So a few days ago, Ryan Johnson had an interview with Variety talking about Knives Out because it was a successful movie. Getting a sequel. And actually, he's up for awards because of the film. Guarantee you he's going to win probably Best Director. I would I would bet money on it because Johnson's been a good little boy for the system. So, why am I talking about this? Well, let's go over this first. So, Star Wars Ryan Johnson gives an update about his new trilogy. So, he spoke to Variety and they asked him about it. He said, what's going on with your with your trilogy, Mr. Johnson, sir? And he says, I'm still talking to Lucasfilm, but they haven't announced anything on their slate yet. Now, if you remember, I did a video on this back in November uh, where it was being reported that he was being told to shut his mouth and not say anything. Now, here's what's interesting about this. I don't, I don't necessarily, I'm starting to think that maybe he's not going to get that trilogy. And... They're giving him hush money or something, or he's under some kind of NDA to keep his mouth shut because you know the shills and the media love this guy because he he represents everything that they that they love. Uh, he tells fans he tells fans to shut their mouth and he calls fans toxic man babies and all of this stuff. He ruins fans, craps on fans, destroys fans' hopes and dreams. This is things that blue check marks and shill media absolutely love. But I'm starting to think, finally, that this man isn't getting a Star Wars trilogy. And if he were to come out and say that, do you know how many shills would be going after Disney? Remember, when Rise of Skywalker came out, we were getting that thank you, Ryan Johnson, and it got trending. Uh, people that are blue check marks and shell media love this man. So you can imagine how many hit pieces would could, would come out on that. But here's the thing. This is being reported now. And apparently Taika Watiti, I hope I'm saying that right. Uh, Taika Watiti, like Watiti from Jawa. Sounds like a Jawa, doesn't it? Is uh, being courted for a Star Wars movie. Now that's very interesting. Uh, there's good reason for this. So Mandalorian, if you didn't know, I believe he directed at least one. He did the final chapter for sure. Uh, I want to say he had two chapters out of the Mandalorian. I'm not 100% on that, but I know he had the last one for sure. And I think what's going on with the Mandalorian is that's a, like some kind of proving grounds where you prove yourself and if you do a good job, you might end up with a Star Wars movie. And apparently they liked what he did enough that they're courting him for a Star Wars film. As far as I know, it's just one film. But I talked about this in a different video where apparently uh, the future is to have loosely connected movies, which I believe they'll unite into some kind of Avengers Endgame style movie. Uh, kind of makes sense. I think they're going to start following the Marvel formula. So, Takai Watiti has a little bit of Marvel experience. And you take into account his Star Wars experience now. Kind of makes him a good fit. Now, it's funny that stuff like this is coming out. You know, but we're not hearing anything about Ryan Johnson. I think he's out. I don't think they want him back. Because they want... They want this franchise to actually be profitable and not split fans. Now, they're lucky with The Mandalorian. Uh, the fan base is pretty united in liking it. Very few people hate it. I think most people are just like, you know, it's okay. It's average. But for the most part, I haven't seen anybody come out and say, oh, I think Mandalorian is a pile of garbage. Uh, most people that like Star Wars at least kind of enjoy it. Uh, I liked it a lot. And I think as long as they can pro they can uh, pump out stuff like that, I would be a little bit more happy <laughs> than I was with the Star Wars trilogy. So I think this makes sense, at least in their eyes. And you know how it'll turn out at the end of the day will you know will be up for debate. But I think this would be a good move to be honest. I really enjoyed Thor Ragnarok. Now I don't know how much I'll enjoy Love and Thunder, but I think this guy could make a good Star Wars movie. I would. 
I would be a little bit more optimistic about it than I would be a Ryan Johnson trilogy, that's for sure. So we'll see what happens. According to the article, they're still in talks. Uh, This is more than we've heard about Ryan Johnson. So I hope he's gone. That is a that is a beautiful thing. If we can just get him and boot his goofy ass out of Star Wars, I think that that would be a beautiful thing. We'll see. We shall see. Finally, one thing that I've been wanting to talk about is the leaked Colin Trevow, or however you say his name, script. So that script is pretty interesting. I looked through it a little bit. I really don't believe that that would have been any better than what we got with Rise of the Skywalker. Honestly, I think it had been a little bit more of the same. It's hard to say without seeing it in action. It's tough to just read a script and say, well, this is going to 100% work. But that being said, I think uh, there was a couple of key things in there that are definitely worth talking about and just how much of a, a cluster a cluster F the entire Disney Star Wars trilogy has been, particularly this part right here. Palpatine stayed dead and had no relation to Rey. So this is pretty interesting because it it confirms everything that we've been saying all along, that they had no plan, that they were really just kind of throwing stuff at a wall to see what works or whatever worked for them, and that this entire trilogy was a mess and they had no idea what they were doing at all. So Rey was never anybody. Palpatine was never in the equation. We already knew that because they had talked about that. Colin had talked about that before this even leaked. Funny, I, I bet you he leaked it himself. Brilliant move, by the way. A little bit of salty revenge for Colin there, <laughs> to be honest. A little bit of salty revenge putting that out. And it says a lot. Ray was no one. No one. But, you know, they had to make her someone, so it's now the rise of Palpatine. So this is just really interesting. It just shows you how clueless they are. And I really wonder if Kathleen Kennedy will survive this year. We'll see what happens. I'm eagerly awaiting because this is her last year. So they're going to either re-up her soon or her contract's just going to come out and she'll be, uh, air quotes, training a successor. (laughs) So we'll see what happens. But uh, this was interesting to me. So uh, I I did look through the script. I watched a couple people's videos on it. Or I didn't read through the script, but I looked at outlines on it, and I really don't think it would have been any better than what we've already seen. Uh, I think it would have not been such a mess like Rise of Skywalker, but I don't think I would have walked out of that movie uh, being, you know, wowed or anything, or thinking, "Oh man, this really, this really made that Disney trilogy." I don't think so. So anyway, that is pretty much it. I hope uh, Ryan Johnson is out, and I kind of think his ass is booted. And I'd be willing to bet nobody that's subscribed to me (laughs) is really grieving that. So anyway, what do you think about uh, Takai getting a Star Wars movie? What are your thoughts on that? Do you think it would be good? Now, as far as I can tell from what I read from The Hollywood Reporter, they are still in talks. I personally think he could do a good movie. We'll see. Uh, What do you think about Duel of Fates? Do you think it would have been a better movie? I'd like to hear your thoughts on that. What do you think about Palpatine never being in the equation, Ray always being a nobody? Give me your thoughts on that. And uh, remember, comments and likes really help videos in the algorithm, so please consider interacting with the video. Also, make sure you still subscribe. Subscribe if you're new. Hit that notification bell. Share the video. And I'll see you on the next one. Peace. Also, if you want to help support the channel, check out my Teespring store. There's a link in the description. You can find some merchandise in there that you might want to check out. Also, take a moment. Make sure you're still subscribed to the channel. Uh, There's something going on right now, and they've been unsubscribing people. So just take a second and double check on that and subscribe if you're new.